Hello, my loves, and welcome back to Bahati Life YouTube channel. If you're meeting for the first time, my name is Jessica Alexandria. Today, we are going to be diving into a pick a card reading, focusing on single, single living and single life. This video was a request from one of our own here in the Bahati Vibe Tribe. So shout out to you, darling. Thank you so much for your suggestion. I was very happy to shuffle on this topic. So we have the three different piles to choose from. Go ahead and allow yourself to be intuitively guided and led to the pile of your choice. This is gonna be pile number one, the kyanite crystal. Pile number two is going to be obsidian. And pile number three is going to be Euclid. Probably not saying that correctly, but that is going to be pile number three. I will see you guys in the timestamps or I'll meet you at your timestamp when you're ready. All right, my loves, if you chose the Kyanite Crystal, this is your singles reading. Again, it was requested by one of our own. Thank you so much for the inspiration to do this reading for you guys today. And thank you again to Ritual for sponsoring today's video. What is the message for those who are single right now and maybe even looking for love or wishing to attract love or they are currently attracting love relationships or a love relationship? It's interesting, I just heard the word indecision. So right away, this is kind of telling me, wow, look at this. Let me see if I can flip this up. It's the right way for you. So the first cards to jump out for you as I separate the deck is actually the chariot card and the death card. And why this is so significant is the word that jumped out to me was actually the word indecision, but the chariot card showing up is actually supporting the energy that it is that I was feeling, which is it's if you haven't already made a choice or a decision, it's time for you to do that. Now, some of you guys might actually feel like, I almost, I almost wanted to say like, you might wanna push back on me, but as I was gonna say that, I actually heard the word blockage. So spirit is referring to the fact that if you are kind of hung up on something of the past, if you haven't completely let that go, whatever that be, it could be a relationship, it could be a loss, it could be a setback, it could be a emotional, uh, like um, an emotional like trauma, something that you might still reasonably like i i feel like it's it makes sense for you when you experience hurt ache pain suffering we don't just let it go our body remembers and our body keeps score and when you even if it's something that you want when it comes to love or relationships or intimacy a part of you may actually close off or lock off when you've gone through when you've lived through enough damage or you go through enough pain or heartbreak or disappointment, it can make you lock up when something wonderful does enter into your life. And I want to st even start off your reading talking about what I feel like is trying to come into your life. If you look at this card, it is the death card, but more than anything, she's pregnant. She's pregnant, there's a crib, and there's potential here. So from some ending of the past, something new has to begin something new wants to be born something new wants to enter but if you are craving wanting calling in or maybe even delaying that feeling and it starts to get closer to you and make its way to you because you naturally radiate love vibration like you are love and so naturally, of course, things are going to attract to you. Things are going to end up finding their way to you. It may signal to you what you've already experienced before and make and trigger you and make your defense go up. So spirit is saying like, 
there might be something here where you have already set intention or you've already come to terms with the fact that you do want love or you do want something in your life, right? Like you, whatever that looks like for you, but if you're making that decision, really lean into it because there's something here that's acting like a blockage, a barricade. So again, I just want to say this real quick that sometimes, and I see this more often than not, um, when I'm doing energy readings for people or tarot readings, I've noticed very, very often that people set the intention for romance or set the intention for love, but they haven't totally healed from past things and they're not aware that they haven't healed. So they, their aura attracts love because they're loving individuals. But when people start getting close, they almost kind of shy away or create like blockages or self-sabotage or subconscious um, obstacles to kind of pro to, to self-protect and it's understandable it's reasonable but with the death card here that's something that you are being encouraged right now by spirit to let go and this has everything to do with the choices and the decisions that you're making for yourself when it comes to your love life if you decide that you are ready for a relationship if you decide that you're ready to call in love then do know that that's going to require a big step into a vulnerable space. So I, I'm sure many of you guys know this. If you're, you know, old friends and family to my YouTube channel, I'm really big on magic setting intention. I actually have a fixed candle here. It's not lit right now, but um, I'm really big on using my magic in order to match my intention, my intention to match my magic in order to attract and bring in that which I desire into my life. And it works every single time. However, I do want to say that sometimes when you're attracting something specific, you almost have to go back to the basics and kind of confront any type of internal issues and, and blockages that's causing you to repel what you're also re attracting and believe it or not that can happen it gets chaotic though it really does get, get chaotic so there have been times in my past and I don't want to go too far into this um breakdown in this YouTube video just because I've noticed you know being too long-winded on the YouTube channel is not something that people like so I save it <laughs> for those that are signed up for like Bahati Love Notes or Sacred Circle Tarot School um, they get all of the long winded, all the long winded information, Jess. But for right now, I realize that YouTube channel likes the easily digestible type of stuff. So that's what I'll give. I will say that in my own journey, in a nutshell, that before I've attracted very major loves um, and very healthy loves, there were many things that I had to then set intention for before that. For example, um, working on self love and nurturing. So that I could enjoy intimacy, not physical sexual intimacy, but emotional intimacy because I was very Queen of Swords reversed, ready to, you know, be defensive and just be like, listen, I can spot bullshit from a mile away. Don't even try it. <laughs> so that might be something that you might want to work on or begin to manifest if you chose this pile is if you did make a decision here. If you decided that you want to be in a relationship, if you want to start, you know, moving forward with love, or if you decide that you don't want to have toxic connections in your life, make sure that you are really cutting the cord. Make sure that your actions match your intention. Make sure that your actions match your words and your words match your intention. So be very, very aware of that. And if not, you're going to experience some blockages here. And that's what I'm intuitively getting before I even dive into this, dive into this deck. I think I will do uh, an extended message. And from that, I'm going to look into how to help you attract this love and to move past this uh, blockage and barrier. But for right now, let's go a little deeper. Wow. Knight of Wands. Yeah. So this is an, a card or energy that can bring up burnout or people who come in and go out. Wow, guys, this might be a little, not triggering, but someone might not be ready for this. So think about this, right? This card was reversed. 
think about this. If you aren't decided on the energy that you want, and this is a real honest ref looking in the mirror reflection type of moment. If you look at yourself and you say, well, you know, I know I want love, but I'm also really scared of it. And, and that's what you've come to terms with, or you've discovered that about yourself. Do you realize that that's what you end up attracting? Not intentionally. I don't want to, I'm not, when I say that, I'm not pointing the finger and pointing the blame at you and just like, look, you did this to yourself. That's not what I'm saying. It's just that sometimes when we are attracting or when we're in a period in a season of our lives of attraction, whether we're working with love oils, goddess vibration oils, fixed candles, like the nectar of life, you know, uh, fixed candle, we will start to naturally attract. That's a beautiful thing. But what we end up finding ourselves attracted to and what we end up choosing is energies that kind of match where we're at. So you may actually be adding more fuel to the fire of your trauma or or more adding more fuel to the fire of your own subconscious expectations by not being decisive and choosing things that match your indecisiveness when it comes to love and romance or being single right now. So if you are looking for love and relationships or if you're looking for love and a, a more serious connection, wow. And here he is right now, guys, the emperor and the page of pentacles. This person wants to make an, a serious offer, a serious investment. I don't know if this is someone who is in your life right now already, or if this is someone who's in the future, but I want to tell you that it's almost like if you decided that you were serious and you're this energy of like, catch me if you can, or, oh yeah, like I, I want to have a good time. So, whoa, 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 you know what I just heard? Some of you guys are choosing, wanting to choose someone based upon physical attraction only. And I'm not saying that you have to choose. <clears throat> I'm not saying that you have to sacrifice on attraction, but some of you guys might be choosing like F boy mentality type of people like guys, guys or women who very, they look good on the surface, but they don't offer much when it comes to longevity they're very, they could also, they could be very self-absorbed and you have this person here in the ethers and the, on the sidelines, maybe not so much waiting for you because they seem like they're very focused and they're ambitious and they've got enough going on in their plate that they, they seem pretty solid, but it's like when your energy matches what they offer, then this person will recognize you or you'll start to recognize the light within them and finally take them a little bit more serious but it, the fact that the Knight of Wands reverse was the first card to show up is showing me that Spirit is saying you're either choosing energies that match the Knight of Wands, which is very like one night, like one night only fling type of energy, hookups, that type of stuff, or just people who don't follow through. Like, let's say it doesn't even get to the point where it's a hookup. There's people who are just fickle. And they don't follow through on like a date idea. They don't text back. They're hard to pin down. There is someone here that Spirit is saying, if you if you wanted this, it could it would come in and you would have something to build upon. But are you ready? Wow, Queen of Wands. Now I know that the way that you guys are looking at this, you're like, oh, but she's upright. But I'm reading this from my perspective, and she's actually reversed. And this has to do with someone who this might be you guys, you know, and I just want to pour into you. Like, please know that my intention always is to pour into my clients, my friends, my community, you. So that's what I'm trying to do here. I just want to, and I do want to tell you that this is a safe place. We're in my office right now. It's just you and me vibing. We've got the candles. We're just vibing right now. So just please know that you are safe here and I'm going to, I'm going to give this to you. Someone here feels like you just need, I want to like validate you. Like you might feel, you might have been feeling a little like you might've lost, you feel like you lost your sparkle or you lost your attraction or you need, or you don't believe in your beauty and your value in the way that you actually deserve to which is such a weird thing to say, you know? But again, this is a safe place, so don't drag me on the internet. But I'm just being honest. There's sometimes people who, and I'm not trying to be like superficial, but there's some people who just really think so highly of themselves. And 
I love that for them. I love that for them. But, you know, you, you, sometimes I kind of wonder, like, where, where does all this confidence kind of come from? And it could be from things that they do to, uh, like, um, kind of spice up their appearance, <laughs> for lack of a better word, uh, or add on to their appearance and everyone that's going to be different. Like it could be something as simple as doing their makeup, putting in hair extensions, getting Botox, getting fillers, go going to the gym, wearing jeans over leggings, you know, it it's, everyone's going to be different, but I, it's almost like bringing this back to you. It's almost like you could use a little bit of their confidence and a bit of a boost so I think this is why you might be finding yourself feeling like less than or a little less confident, especially if you accidentally find yourself comparing yourself to people that this Knight of Wands reverse might be choosing. So if you do have, it's okay, wow, this, is, this has layers. So we're definitely gonna dive into this into the extended. I'm gonna pour into you in the extended. But <clears throat> think about it this way. Remember how if you, in the beginning, how I was saying that sometimes if you want love or you're attracting love, but you might not necessarily feel 100% ready for it. So even though you're putting it out there and you're praying or you're setting intention or you're manifesting true love, there's a part of you that feels like, ah, scared or creating a blockage or a barrier because you might subconsciously not feel ready. And that's reasonable. I can have, I have related to that big time in my own journey, but bringing it back to this, it's almost like you looking at the Knight of Wands energy, this Knight of Wands reverse energy and seeing who this person chooses, who matches their energy makes you think, well, why would they choose that person or these people when I have so much to offer and then somehow you end up chasing after the Knight of Wands energy when I'm not saying that they are lower vibration, but they just are not the emperor. And the emperor would ultimately be, is willing to invest in and wants to invest in, wants to invest in the empress or wants to see you poured into as the queen of wands upright. The emperor energy is looking for the, the piece of you, I think that might be needing a little bit more validation and support right now, the queen of, and that would be the queen of wands upright. She needs to feel like she has her sparkle, her zest. She, she's sexy, she's sexy. She's independent. And I don't want you guys to get confused by being like, well, Jess, I pay my own bills. I have my own job. I have my friends. I travel. I get it. Those are all external things. External things don't always reflect our internal condition. And again, in this little safe place, this little bubble that we have here, sometimes, and I feel this way too, sometimes we just need a little extra TLC and some support and we need someone cheering us on and making our heads big, just speaking life into us, gassing us up. And I feel like spending less time comparing yourself to what this Knight of Wands is chasing after and pouring into yourself Queen of Wands is going to help you to get to this Emperor because he or she, whoever this is, has their shit together. I relate to the Emperor. I do. I really do. And it's nice to be able to attract. It's nice to be in a position where you attract that Emperor, that matching Emperor energy. So let's see what else Spirit has for you. Wow, justice card. This is a lot about give and take and what you put out, the energy that you're putting out. But let me clarify this a little further because this feels loaded. Five of cups. See, girl, I want to give you a big, big old hug. Big, big, big hug. And just be like, yeah, this, if we're on the sofa in our metaphorical living room right now this is where we're just like okay girls night <laughs> girls night um don't worry about it i'm making us tea or hot chocolate or whatever you want or a glass of champagne or wine whatever is whatever is your your drug of choice and we're gonna pop some popcorn and we're gonna watch a, a movie and we're just gonna pour into into you and then we're gonna journal and then we're gonna go for a walk and then we're gonna you know go on and on so five of cups right and the justice card 
I really want you to look at the energy of this five of cups. This person is going through it. They're really sitting into their, in their emotions right now. So there's something here, my love, that has you feeling like less than or mourning something or still sad or like it, the sadness lingers or the depression lingers or the loss lingers. Ten of Pentacles reverse. This could represent childhood trauma. This could represent, you know, energies that kind of linger around you, but it could represent your expectations of what marriage or the future or relationships look like and then finding that it doesn't match what you're seeing. It could be a feeling of there's not like it, there's no security for the future. Wow. Then you have three of cups here in the actually in the near future. Wow. And then 10 of wands. Some of you guys are really afraid of, and then you have the tower card and the four of cups. Wow. Some of you guys are actually afraid of the work, the effort, or what it's going to call out of you in order to have like love companionship. You just feel like what you, some of you guys might actually feel like what's out there doesn't match what you deserve. So in that you almost kind of build an island where you get bored and you just are not exploring options. You're just not enthused by it or your circumstances kind of reflect a lot of player, player activity or people who are just fickle. I've heard, I'm currently in a relationship right now, but I've heard that this dating scene right now for everyone is just very, real, really tough. But I do want to tell you that you do have the Emperor and the Page of Pentacles here. And this is telling me that I just don't want your expectations to manifest in your reality. Or I don't want your expectations or your disappointment to grow so much that opportunity can't also grow and overgrow and and like be overgrown over the disappointment and I do want to tell you that someone here believes this meant this uh quote this mindset of when I'm healed or when I fully love myself then I will then I will be ready to love and I just want to tell you that this doesn't apply to your situation believe it or not I know that you're probably surprised to hear me say that but I feel it so deeply in my spirit that sometimes finding the right person and getting lucky in love and getting lucky in romance actually helps you to see your value and to bloom and blossom into the better version of yourself in that relationship. And I've seen that happen. I've seen that happen. And if I've seen it happen, it can happen for you too. So, and I just really just want to tell you that I feel like your angels and your guides, the universe, circumstances, your intention, your manifestations, they are working here, but it's almost a little bit to your detriment where you are attracting, but you may not necessarily be selecting the right person, the right people who match, because I feel like you might be choosing based upon physical attraction, desire, ambition, or these external things that at the end of the day, they don't matter. Imagine what happens if you find someone who has everything you you deserve and you start to grow more excited about them over time. What if you're attracted to things? What if you're attracted to toxic? Like what if you're attracted to chaotic energy and that's what you've been chasing this entire time instead of what if you healed that part of you queen of wands reversed and you just were like you know what what if I just tried dating the nice guy and just got used to that what if I made that my new normal and then all of a sudden it's not that you didn't attract them this person was waiting for you this entire time it's just that you weren't choosing them I hope this makes sense so I just want to say real quick I know, I know I'm like so long-winded. Again, I'm trying to cut it back because YouTube just can't stand me going off and I'm realizing, okay, we got to work with the tools that we have here and continue manifesting regardless. But I want to just say real quick that it's not that you're not attracting good opportunity. I just feel like 
you aren't choosing, like from what you have already attracted, you might be choosing, you might be choosing people that reflect Knight of Wands reverse energy when it would be a good idea, more ideal for you to choose someone who is the emperor. Now, someone here feels like they might have to sacrifice physical attraction. Queen of Swords, yeah. That part of you is just like, yeah, no, Jess. I am not going to choose someone less than in your eyes. I'm not, that, that, isn't that settling is what I can hear someone saying. And the tower says, two of swords reverse, actually cut that energy out. Cut that, cut that mindset out. Yeah, it's almost like reopening yourself. Page of wands and the chariot card. Yeah, you, it's what you're choosing. So yeah, ace of pentacles. So there's a real serious foundation here. So it's not that you're, and the page of wands is actually the card of that spark of attraction. Sometimes it develops after we chose the right thing. And then all of a sudden that's all that we're attracted to is somewhat something that is stable, solid, predictable, especially when you know what it feels like to be loved correctly and treated correctly the way that you should. So that queen of swords energy, I get it, honey. Remember I said in the very beginning, I can relate to that. I've been there, done that hundred percent. But when you're loved correctly and you go through the lessons, you stop getting being attracted to the drama and the chaos and the fight. And then you start getting attracted to the stability, the love, the connection, the chemistry, that the support, the tenderness, the com the the listening, like wow. Okay. Let's look at some of your oracle cards. Okay, we have Yang. So this is masculine energy showing up right here, right now. Wow, guys, I'm done. <laughs> I'm done. Look, making a choice. I also want to tell you that for some of you guys, wow, I just heard um, you're choosing, You be aware of choosing based upon words and not actions. Some of you guys with the Knight of Wands, it's like, oh, I'm going to choose someone who you know, he's one day we're going to do this one day, you know, he, they made this promise. And for whatever reason, there's always going to be an excuse. There's always going to be something that comes up more important. Don't look at the words, look at the energy and what actually, when you put it out in facts, queen of swords, when you break it down, what value have they already given to you that you can actually tally it, especially with the justice card. The next card you have here is Tiger. You're being called upon to provide leadership, so trust that you're capable of doing so. I love this for you, believe it or not, because I feel like when you decided that you were going to be good all on your own, you went after, you were able to build some incredible things, or you are currently building some incredible things within your life. And I just think this is you getting even closer to that masculine energy, believe it or not because you know what you want, but I just feel like there's a part of you that might be choosing. Wow. We have ferns here, new wonders, aspen, shed the old, and then we have sage spirit contact. Yeah. So some of you guys have really started working on manifesting. It's just a matter of letting go of any bar barriers and obstacles that are stopping you from entering into that new territory. And someone here might actually be involved with an ex or someone very fickle. And it's, you already know it's time for you to let this person go. You already know. And it's also eclipse season that I'm recording this video right now, even though this message is timeless. But I wouldn't be surprised if the eclipses, if you're watching this in real time, if they've already presented to you some really valuable information to let you know that it's time for you to let this person go. Eight of Swords is talking about anxiety. Temperance card is what we are co-creating with the universe and also being patient. Six of Cups is the card of the past. Something about the socks hanging here is bothering me a little bit. And then Two of Wands. This card was reversed though. Two of Wands is reversed is actually indecision and not knowing what choice and decision to make or your energy is minimally kind of propelling that into the universe. So guess what? 
the universe is matching that. Temperance is your, anxi your anxiety, your angst, your subconscious, your fear. And some of you guys, again, this is confirmation right now that you are kind of caught up on something or someone of the past. And I think that it's a good idea to maybe consider the thought, okay? I don't, I'm not telling you that you need to take action on this today. Remember, this is a sacred place and a safe place. Even if this is something that you have to do or the cards are telling you to do this as your friend, I tell you that do everything in your own time and you will know when it's time. So I'm not going to put pressure on you to cut anyone out until you're ready. But I just want to minimally kind of tell you, you know, would you maybe kind of a little bit consider releasing and letting go any disappointment or connections of the past that don't really hold this, the value that they deserve or the pedestal that you kind of put them on. And some people here don't deserve as much credit as you may give them. They might just be assholes. There's a lot of that out here. Well, not a lot, but enough that it's noticeable. And I can kind of see that showing up here, just being honest, just being a little bit honest there. Wow. Ambition. May I offer all of my deepest longings to love itself and invite a divine plan beyond the mind's imagining. Please use me for the highest good. I really, really love that because again, this is this masculine energy saying like, listen, honey, if you put your mind to it, you can achieve it. We just lately have been matching your vibe. We've been matching your vibe. We've been matching your energy. And although you are saying that you're ready and you want this love, or you might be trying to manifest a past love and a past connection, you we can't give you freshness. We can't give you something, the emperor, right? If there's a part of you that's still kind of longing for, craving, or looking for Knight of Wands reversed. So let's go ahead and Two of Swords, kind of nip that in the bud, and Two of Swords reversed, open up to the potential, the new wonders. So I do have this Quartz Crystal here pulled for you, Kyanite. I'm going to read it for you. I hope I didn't give you too much of a boob show there, but if I did, you're welcome. <laughs> wow. So we have resolving disputes, diplomacy, restoring harmony, and mending fences and building bridges. So that also has to do with the temperance card. Harmony means that even though, you know what? I kind of want to read the relationship one. Hmm. You may be right and have the best idea in the room, but Kyanite Spirit is here to tell you that in this moment, you're called to be the bigger person. The diplomat, oh, the diplomat seeking to connect on a level of mutual understanding. There was a reason you wanted to connect with this person or people, and now you have the power to do so in a healthy way that honors you and them. They will learn from your modeling of diplomacy. You might be surprised by how much more readily your wisdom is heard when you reach out in love before trying to sway someone with logic mend fences and then watch how much easier it is to harmonize with another it's possible you're you're you've attracted a relationship wow where you are doing all the emotional work and the other person takes and sucks up all of your energy if so kyanite reminds you that you can you can always say no and end things if a balance can't be reached if this is your choice wow choice if this is your choice know that it is okay to free yourself from the conflict so I do want to say that there's some pretty obvious messages that kind of repeat what it is that I was saying. But in addition to that, there's a, a message here too that with the justice card showing up and diplomacy showing up here, I feel like spirit is kind of talking about the cost that it has on you to try to work things out with people or things that aren't a match for you. Sometimes it's it's good to try to do that, but imagine how much further you would get and how much less anxiety you will have when you're connecting with someone who is matching your energy and your effort, especially with the Yang card here. Like that could be a new a new chapter, a new beginning that you choose for yourself versus staying in this kind of like repeated pattern of like I can't really rely on them. They say that they're going to do this or they or I say that I want this for myself, but then I choose. There's some level of like accountability that we are called to take here, especially 
as this tiger here, right? You are being called upon to provide leadership. So trust that you're capable of doing that. For some of you guys, you're literally exhausted and you're just like, I don't want to be the masculine one in this relationship. I want to lean more into my feminine as you should. So this is something that you can channel the tiger energy and just be like, listen, I, this is what I'm focused on. This is what I'm co-creating. This is what I'm nurturing within myself. And then you'll begin to see that happening. You'll start to see that revealing. So that is your reading. For those of you guys who are wondering what this card here is, it's actually Divine Feminine. And I'm going to use that to lead me into the extended message, the extended reading, where we're going to dive into tools to manifest love for you who chose this pile and also energies that you can do to pour into yourself that are spirit led to help you to manifest, to attract that emperor energy that's been showing up for you. And I also want to see um, any type of cues, clues, signals from the emperor that can be provided to help you to bring the two of you guys together. The extended will be down below. Sacred Circle Tarot School and the Apothecary will reopen November 11th of this year at 11, 11 a.m. Eastern Standard Time. There was a huge delay, my guys. Oh my God. There was a huge delay last year, but that is resolved. I have help now, reliable help and people I can trust. And I'm so here for that. I'm going to work slower and not at the same amount that I was before because it's just better for me as a human being and not as a machine who was in her 20s just doing so much. So the apothecary will reopen. If I was going to recommend any magic from the apothecary, it would 1000% be the goddess vibrations intention oil or the lunar goddess intention oil and the nectar of life fixed candle because we want to pour into that space, that empty space, or that part of you that's kind of fractured a little bit. And we want to give to her. From that space, I feel like that's all that you would need in order to attract the love that is that you've already kind of put out there and that you've already kind of been attracting. And also shout out to Ritual for sponsoring today's video. What an honor. All right, my loves, I will talk to you later. I hope that you are well. And if I am seeing you or meeting you in the extended. I will see you there in just a second. And for those of you guys that are moving on to pile number two or pile number three, I will see you there. And for everyone else, I hope that you are subscribed to this YouTube channel so that our paths can meet again. And if not, it was an honor to shuffle and pull cards for you now. I'll talk to you guys later. All right, my loves, if you chose the obsidian crystal, this is your message for your single life. I will link all of the cards down below. And before we dive into it, I just want to give a quick shout out to our sponsor again, Ritual, for their vitamins. And also announce that the apothecary and sacred circle tarot school are opening the same day november 11th at 11 11 a.m eastern standard time so that's the 11th month of this year on the 11th day at 11 11 a.m eastern standard time i'm so excited okay <clears throat> messages for the single life okay wow starting off Interesting with the moon card reversed. What's going on? Angels and guides. Hmm. Seven of cups reversed. Let's go ahead and dive in. The world card. Seven of pentacles. Wow. So the number seven is definitely here. It's definitely present. This is giving, um, I do want to tell you, like, this is giving divine, divine timing. Page of Wands reverse, though. I'm also, I don't know if you guys can see this, but I feel called to kind of put the 
cards in this way, which is giving me topsy-turvy energy. The Hierophant. King of Swords reversed. Okay, I actually don't want to go any further. I want to just start right now by saying um, your angels and your guides are asking for you to have clarity with something regarding your intimate life is what they're saying. They're specifically using that word intimate life. I would personally choose to use the word romantic life. <clears throat> and I feel like this this spot right here under the, the base of this reading is left unanswered for a reason as well as the future. We're going to look into that. But for right now, I really am getting this strong message about I'm, I'm actually hearing them say talk to them about um, talk to them about asking for more clarity some of you guys, you think this is about the direction of a relationship, and I don't necessarily actually see it as that. I see this as you might have actually already seen some signs. Well, we're single here, right? So, huh, maybe it's not a relationship. Maybe you guys have, it's funny that I said that. You might have had your eyes set on someone or something. I feel like this is someone or watching someone. Three of Swords, yeah. Three of Swords, Queen of Pentacles. Wow. Your, um, your angels and your guides are talking about um, heartbreak. You might have actually been moving away from a breakup or still trying to process a breakup. Some of you guys may not actually have clarity in why this relationship ended, why it dissolved in the way that it did. Um, it's, it's just so interesting because I, I get this strong sense of them spirit, your spirit guides showing up and just being like, don't talk to them about, there's this emphasis on like, on the, the, like trying to, it, it, not trying to get more closure from the situation, but because I, I feel like there's been enough that's been presented. I don't know why it's hard for me to even say that. I think because this is something that you might be struggling with or that might not be something that you want to give up on, this sense of closure. Some of you guys are waiting for communication. Um, it feels very open-ended. I know that this is a singles reading, so it's kind of hard for me to even look at this pile as single right now because I feel like your heart might be tied into something. Um, and, or locked into something actually is what it is that I'm getting. Whatever this is, and I'm going to ask for clarity if this is not your situation. So for those of you guys that this doesn't resonate with, maybe there's another message in here for you. If not, this might not be your pile. Because those who chose this pile, there's something here that you might not have had like closure with. You might not have had um, your questions that sit on your heart answered. It's interesting too, I started playing with my ring and I feel like this has a lot to do with how spirit is saying like the closure that you need or the closure to look for is the divine's protection over your life. And they're trying to help you to really cl like close this out, close out this relationship or close out this season. Some of you guys, you're in a season in your life with of singledomness where it just doesn't, for you, I'm hearing like it doesn't make sense. Like why... Why is this my situation? I feel like you feel like you have so much to offer. But it also this King of Swords here showing up is really blowing my mind. I, okay, I just feel like there's someone here that has you stumped. Look at that. You have the Ace of Swords. I, <clears throat> normally I would see this as the closure, the answer, but I feel like this is the power that the King of Swords reverse is actually holding, is the truth of the end of a relationship. And even if this is like years ago, some of you guys are still, um, are still processing it because, and it's hard for you because you don't understand why. 
If you are not stuck on someone, yeah, King of Cups. If you are not stuck on someone or if your heart isn't tied to someone, there's something here about, this feels very, I'm not, oh God, I feel like I'm, I, I promise you I'm not trying to like attack right now. There's something here that Spirit's kind of calling out that they're asking you to see and observe and address it, but you're, you're, you might, you're not, like you're not, you're choosing not to. You might even find work as a crutch for your pain instead of addressing and dealing and healing this part of your, your, this part of yourself. Some of you guys might actually be in a relation. I just feel like someone's here, but um, some of you guys might actually be in a relationship, chose this pile and, ooh, yo, um, you might have been very close to being single in the current relationship. Like you might've either narrowly missed a breakup or you're on thin, like thin ice or your partner is on thin ice. Hmm. I, I'm as I'm sitting and I'm trying to like extract more messages spirit just keeps bringing me back to asking you to like see like to really like you're I'm sorry to say this but it almost feels like you're choosing not to see or you're avoiding something you're avoiding seeing something you're hoping that you're almost biding time like trying to run that's so weird spirit is saying you're running like running time out which is funny because normally it's time runs itself out, but it's almost like you're um, on a treadmill and just like keep walking, like keep walking on the treadmill, trying to waste time or trying to burn time and give something, give something or someone the opportunity to give you clarity when spirit is kind of telling you like you, you have what, what, like what details are you looking for to kind of close this out um we we shown you everything that we feel comfortable showing you anything more i it would be detrimental to you why i'm i just heard one looks but one doesn't see um this is when you're looking for something but you're you're not you're missing it like you're missing you're missing a fact here you're missing a point I do want to say that someone here kind of drowns themselves or focuses on work and, and or the accomplishment of tasks. Yeah, look at that. Look at this <laughs> right on time. Three of Pentacles. Like this person is just watering, watering their garden. Whoa, I just heard. Wow. Um, wow. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Okay. I just heard with the Three of Pentacles. So weird. I heard the word reassurance that... Um, Someone here is actually, this has nothing to do with your relationship, but it's, it's, all, oh my God, you guys, I want to give you a hug. Okay. It's almost like you're throwing yourself into your work because it's a thing that you can control and it's a thing that will give back to you. And instead of, <clears throat> I don't want to, it's, it's your, okay, let me, it's like you're beating yourself up through your work because you don't have closure in something that has left unopened or has left on has has left open for you like in your heart like an ache a spot something an, an unresolved issue something that you don't have an answer for and honestly it's it's interesting whoa wow 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 okay sorry spirit speaks man spirit speaks let me show you let me show you. I almost want to like throw all these tarot cards, but the first card to come up is the drinker. Granted, he is upright, but spirit's just talking. So just let, let we'll give them space to speak. First card to jump out is the, the drinker. Then we have the cup, page of cups that he pours himself or they pour themselves, right? So this is the, the king of cups would reach for the page of cups in order to be like, get me more liquor or get me more something whatever it is that you use to self-soothe it could be sugar it could be caffeine to keep yourself motivated it could be drugs it could be workaholic tendencies emails offerings whatever this is and then we have the ten of swords so this is how you're processing this is how you've been handling things with the judgment card here and the three of cups this is literally the card of partying overindulgence or overdoing something and the judgment card is what we do like how we react when things are called into our perspective and we're forced to see. 
Do you see what is happening here? You're like, no, just go a little deeper. I will do just that, girlfriend. <laughs> Let's buckle up, right? Do you see how spirit is asking you to see something? They've called it into your perspective. They're asking you to see it. They're, they're calling it up from the grave, calling it to light. All that they said that they feel comfortable showing you. It's not that you're missing any details. It's not that even if there are details missed, they're trying to protect you from those details. And in the meantime, you're overdoing or overindulging in something um, <clears throat> instead of this observation that needs to happen with the judgment card. So with the Ten of Swords, sometimes when there's an ache, an ending, something that we're not comfortable with saying goodbye with, we don't like the way that things were left. Maybe things were left unsaid. Maybe there was no closure, no explanation, nothing. And what do you do in all of that? You do. Sometimes people do what they can, what they can do to control their emotions or to make themselves feel better. But sometimes it's a temporary fix. And Three of Pentacles is has has been the response when i was asking spirit when i'm shuffling for you it that has been the response spirit is showing that there's something here that you might have been watering what that is i don't know everyone it might be different some of you guys it might be your work holic ways whatever it is it's it doesn't feel good even if it might be like well look what i've done or look what i've created or look what i've accomplished there's something here that when you do it to avoid King of Swords, Ace of Swords, when you're doing it to avoid the truth, we have we have an issue. No, no, regardless of how productive or how fun or how positive or wonderful the world may see, well, may see it, when spirit sees into your soul and says, hey, we want you to come back to the ending. We want you to come back into the center. We know that it's difficult. We know that this might have been a rock bottom moment for you, but we want to resolve it. We want to resolve it. We want you to see it. We want you to face it. And it's, that's very tough. <laughs> I, I'm on your corner. I'm in your corner with this. That's very, very tough. It's very, very tough because there's something here that we don't want to see. There's something here that we don't want to face, right? This is what happens when the judgment card comes up. It's in our face. It's yelling. It's screaming. We're just like, ah, too much. And then we have the six of cups card here. And then the five of cups. Wow. And then the chariot and then the two of wands. So, oh, and then the high priestess and then the five of pentacles. Yeah. So a spirit is trying to tell you that if you're in, whether if you're single, which this is a singles reading, or if you're in a relationship, there's something here that spirit is asking you to... I don't want to say accept, meaning like you're not um, accepting lackluster behavior or singleness or whatever the case is. There's something here that just seems to be unchanging. And this in-between time of running on this rat race or doing this thing, it could be even you running after school and going into partying or going and texting your friends and scrolling through your phone. It's something that might even seem so subconscious and so mindless, but really what it is, is it's a distraction. It's stopping you, blocking you from moving forward and facing what you need to see. This is, uh, I do want to say like, I just heard something about like silence and noise. Like when darkness, when darkness happens, it's almost like the, the quiet like the silence is loud, you know, like you might feel very empty, you might feel very achy. And that might be what you're running away from. Um, I was I, I was gonna say something, but I don't want to put words in spirit's mouth. The hermit card. Yeah, there. Look at this. Wow, the coffin. It's so interesting, because um, I just heard that spirit said, like, this is not going to be the end of your life. Like the, the end of your story isn't here. You're not going to be, for some of you guys, you're not going to be alone for the rest of your life. Yeah, it's these um, devilish thoughts, you know, the shadows aspects of your thoughts that just start prancing around and having a good time in your head. Yeah, when you're resting, Four of Swords, it's so funny that that's, well, not so funny. It's very telling. The, the cards are very much speaking right now. Um, wow, Page of Swords. Again, this is the things that we think in our head. All the things that we think of when we're trying to sleep. And look, do you see how he's trying to nail that coffin closed? But the hermit card is here lying in that coffin. There's something here that's in your subconscious that it's it, it's worth you exploring. 
It's worth you exploring. If not, this little guy is gonna run rampant. It's, it's interesting because now I'm asking Spirit in my head just now, I'm like, well, what, um, what the hell? <laughs> like, honestly, like, okay. Like I, you know, I, if you guys don't know, I have very honest conversations with my guides and the honest conversation that I'm having in my head right now is like, okay, so what, what now? Like, what's the point? What was the point of that? And, um, what do we do? And I think that that's a very valid question. Let's go ahead and ask that. Also, for those of you guys that don't know, I teach in Sacred Circle Tarot School for the most part that uh, tarot is a conversation. A lot of times people shuffle and pull and then they just leave leave that one question with that. But you can honestly continue having the conversation with your angels and your guides through the tarot. And I highly recommend it. Okay, what what is the point? angels and guides what what's what is this what are you trying to there's something here I don't even know how to ask the question so I'm just going to allow you to speak mm. wow wow um seven of swords and I don't know if you guys can see this but this person is in the coffin or he's just kind of sitting on the edge of the coffin. So there's something here that just you don't have an answer with. You don't have closure. You don't have a resolution. Temperance card and you're, wow. Subconsciously, it's almost like you're still trying to figure it out. You're still trying to come to terms with it. You're still trying to move forward or have peace. And it's hard to do that. For I just heard for some of you guys, this is not relationships as far as romantic even though you might be single this could represent to something or someone that has been absent from your life and you're still I don't want to say still um you haven't you're you're finding out you're trying to find a way to come to terms with the absence or the lack of this presence and this important presence in your life and what really bothers me as I'm looking at these cards is I just feel like the temperance card is trying to make the best out of a shitty situation. And I just feel like that's unfair. I feel like that's unfair. If you are single and dating, I don't know why I want to, I think some of you guys are accidentally looking for the replacement for that what that you are what you've lacked yeah six of swords ten of wands it ends up wow it ends up having you kind of recreate um recreate because you're looking for closure so you you might end up taking on emotional burdens longer than you should because there's a part of you that's still trying to find the missing piece of why the original ache happened like why like why did this why did this have to happen three of cups it was just disharmonious like it was or, or this could be a third party situation or cheating if this is not you, this could be parents that cheated and you have that imprinted in your brain. Eight, yep, <laughs> eight of swords anxiety. It's still something that subconsciously lingers, especially if it happened when you were a child. Um, I think we might actually talk about closure. I feel like that's a really tall ask for an extended reading, but I am really big on not limiting myself to what the tarot can give and what spirit can do. So I'm gonna to try to tackle closure in the extended reading for you guys. Um, but for right now, let's go ahead and move forward with what is to come. Um, also guys, I'm in a little bit of a recovery with my, like a cold or flu situation. So if I sound a little nasal or shaky in my voice, it's because that's my reality. But I'm getting better. If not, I wouldn't be here. Definitely learn to pace myself. Okay. 
what's coming up for this single pile? Positive things to look forward to. I just heard a feeling of accomplishment and they're talking about um, you doing what couldn't have been done before. So if you are a product of divorce or separation or isolation, yeah, wow, look at that. Wow, wow, literally six of wands. It's somehow, okay, six of wands is the card of accomplishment. I literally am just saying that. Um, this is, and this is also my PTSD card, by the way. This is when you come back from the war, that when you face it, when you face this thing that's kind of left you or abandoned or created heartache or some lack of closure, you know, when you kind of bury, not bury it, but lay it to rest, like you lay it to rest, you're going to have this sense of final of, of, of accomplishment. Like I did it. I did it. I was the one to do it. I did it. And I feel like it's not like breathless when you uh, say this. Um, I want to say that that that's how I'm feeling because I will for some time sometimes when people achieve a specific goal or task when it comes to like cutting an energetic cord they're so exhausted at the end of it it's worth it but they're exhausted at the end of it this feels like wow like a sense of freedom a genuine sense of freedom and it's so interesting too because this character or this person or this energy is carrying a blade, the blade of the Grim Reaper blade. I can never say it's Scythe or Scythe, Scythe. And this is a permanent end, a permanent cut. This means that what can you look forward to? Not repeating, like a, a non-repeat of this Seven of Swords thing that has left you screwed over, sad, still looking for answers, still grappling with your shadow, that that little um, devil card, knight of wands energy that we we're seeing earlier, that's kind of running rampant. You somehow come out on top because you found a way to lay this to rest. And I think that that closure, again, is what we're gonna dive into. Any last words before we move on to the oracle cards that I pulled for this deck? Page of Pentacles and Seven of Cups. So interesting. I actually heard for you to have hope. For you to have hope, which is so interesting because I wouldn't necessarily see that within this within these tarot cards. They were reversed though. Some of you guys are oh, okay, I see it now. So with the Page of Pentacles reversed, Seven of Cups reversed, it's hard for you to see what you've done. It's hard for you to see what you've accomplished. Oh my God, I'm looking at the star card here. When it comes to your own healing, it's hard. It's really hard for you to see. It's really hard for you to see it. For some of you guys, you're doing shadow work or having a dark night of the soul, especially with the star card here. It, it comes out at night, the star card, and it helps to lead the way. It's hard for you guys to see your own progress, your own abundance, your own potential, your own reality, your own future, but it's here. And I think this is why you're late. It almost feels like you're laboring so hard. Um, <clears throat> I just hear like, I think you'll be, I think you would be pleasantly surprised at your future self. Yeah. And I just get this Knight of wands energy. Let's go. Let's get to the future. Let's get to there. Let's move forward. Let's get excited. Let's be hopeful because there's so much to look forward into the future. The star card also, wow, the hermit card. This is like, don't be afraid of going into that. Um, don't be afraid of processing even in the dark night of the soul. I don't know if you guys can see this, but he also, I think he has like a little wine or some type of drug of choice at his feet. And I think that this represents the thing that was your saving grace. Yeah, guys, look, it's five of wands. Like there's something, for me, this is the fight that's worth fighting for or the future that's worth fighting for. Yeah, six of pentacles, you get back what you put in, you get back what you, you wish to receive. Any last words and then I'm gonna pull over the oracle cards. Six of Pentacles, yeah. Wait, what the hell? Oh, nine of Pentacles. Oh my goodness, yeah. Wow, Spirit's like, no, Jess, get it right. 
um you have nine of pentacles you're gonna get in the effort like this is one of the best cards in my opinion but it's because i'm a virgo and this energy this card is ruled by virgo energy big time um but six pen six of pentacles and the nine of pentacles is oh my god i just okay i'll leave it alone um yeah six of pentacles and the nine, nine of pentacles is you getting and receiving like there's there's mutual reciprocity that's happening here for you to enjoy and it doesn't come at a cost or with no strings attached and this is something to look forward to in the future now let's go ahead and look at your oracle cards and then i'll meet you guys in the extended which will be linked down below so if you chose this pile you have as you know the obsidian That's the Divine Feminine. We're gonna put that here. Travel. Let every aspect of this trip unfold in harmony. May divine order arrange and handle every detail. I'll be guided easily and follow the, the leads as they are shown. This is giving the distance how far you've come, and but for some of you guys, it's actually travel. Wow, abundance. This is that Nine of Pentacles energy that I was talking about earlier. I feel like you're really going to see the re the result of it. It's going to feel very like refreshing, reassuring. Also, some of you guys are in a season right now of luxury or building luxury or wealth for yourself. Nine of Wands and the Strength card reversed. This to me is the part of you that is defensive or still is grappling and holding on to that wounded space and still trying to figure it out. Nine of Wands is the card of like stress, really being stressed. It's also the sign of infection. So this is a uh, spiritual infection. Wow, sunflower, happiness at hand, lake and pond, spirit is about. This is honestly giving me like healing energy. I know that the sunflower, you can't see that, but I really feel that with the sun with the sunflower, it's very healing and shine forth wow yeah i feel like um to really try to focus on on love i i know that you guys are probably like well just what the hell um but no i i really get this strong sense of some of you guys might just need to be looking at like not fairy tales but stories or things that uplift you or reading happy happy stories where people have been married forever people have happily happy relationships it's like you need to be you need to see it you need to see it and let that be the story that you hear more it'll just give you so much life and show you where you're going wow see Condor, you're too enmeshed in the situation, so step back and see the bigger picture before making any decisions or taking any action. In this case, I actually feel like this has a lot to do with what you believe by what you're looking at. And if you're only, if your social media, for example, like let's say your social media is only posting about, actually, I honestly feel like this is a season where everyone's talking about like celebrities breaking up. Sometimes hearing that and your innocent um, timeline is filled with celebrity gossip and you're just watching breakup after breakup and all this trauma that's happening it makes you think that that's all that can happen or that's all that is or on the flip side what if it's just so optimistic like too optimistic and makes you feel like it's unattainable or just I don't know, like just stops at the marriage or stops at happily ever after and doesn't actually go into like living together, you know, what that looks like and how cool that is. It, it's, I just see like whatever it is that you're focusing on or whatever it is that you've already seen when it comes to relationships, expand your horizons, especially with travel. Don't just stay on like what's in front of your face. Start looking for the success stories that you are about to embody. Not only is it going to help manifest, but it'll give you life in the moment. Wow, you have also the Fates card. Your partner, whoever it is that you're going to choose and who is choosing you, it's faded. It, the, the, how you guys come together definitely feels faded, clearly. Gentle Gardener, wow. See, this is something that we are 
planting the seeds for and the more that we lightly tend to them, the more that they grow. I also heard the word grooming, which is interesting because that is not a positive word usually. Uh, well, unless you're talking about like getting your dog groomed, but it's sometimes it's like how like how we were taught, like how we were raised to, or what how we are conditioned, like our situations, how they condition us. And I just feel like with this gentle gardener, some of you guys might feel like you were actually groomed to believe a specific something about relationships, what they look like, what can happen, divorce, marriage, all those other things. And I feel like you getting out and seeing a perspective outside of that is going to really open up doors for you. Oh my God, of course, Kalima, the mother of the universe. I release all that doesn't serve me. It's time to be the truth of who I am. You define that. You define that. Also, I have to tell you, wow, this is really controversial. One of the, no, not one of the first times, but I, Kalima, as you guys may know, I've worked with her. She's actually come to me at really important moments of my life, I could go on about my relationship with her and how amazing she is. Um, I will say that it's interesting that she's coming up because she actually, one of the many times that she came up, I was really heartbroken about my relationship with my dad. And I remember I was kind of crying about it and asking for healing. This is before I went to New Orleans. And she actually came to me at my altar and was kind of, for lack of a better word, she said something very specific about my father. And I was like, whoa, if I say this on the internet, this would really shock some people. But what she was doing was she was comforting me and she was kind of making it, opening up the door for me to really let go of some pain that I was born into as a result of being the daughter of my father and my mother. And I think that we all have that for the most part. So Kali Ma, when she shows up, and I'm not telling you guys to go work with her um, like I wouldn't with any other entity or we share goddess, you find what works best for you or you find the similar. Um, when she shows up though, for me, it's very protective and it's really much about releasing, cutting, and letting go so that your anger, your sadness, your hurt, and your ache doesn't get the best of you and hurt you further. And a lot of people, when they're hurting, they they hate they hate that hurt. Like they, they generally hate it and that's what they become. And it's so important for you to get to that stage and that place in your life where forgiveness kind of flows but you also have the space to kind of let that energy go but sometimes there needs to be something to help you through that so I feel I wouldn't be surprised if someone here really relates to that story of letting letting that energy go so you can begin to move forward really begin to move for, forward and get closure on present heartache or even heartache that stems from childhood so let me go ahead and read to you the obsidian crystal <clears throat> hmm. Observing the self. Hmm. Okay. I'm going to read the relationship part of this reading for you. Okay. Self awareness means stopping long enough to acknowledge who you see when you observe yourself, the beautiful you and the you who is imperfect. We are all works in progress, and as you engage in honest self reflection, you will start to see what you were overlooking. That condor, I can't make this up. The qualities you have been seeking in a partner but have forgotten exist within you. You have so much to offer. As the ancient Greek axiom goes, know thyself. To be authentic in any relationship, you have to know and love yourself just as you are. And Obsidian Spirit is here to remind you that you are awesome. Wow. Well, I almost want to read this to you guys um, too, so I'm just going to trust my feeling here. The prosperity message. Do you know your patterns? Hmm. <laughs> like what? <laughs> Period, right? Okay. 
do you know your patterns? So also apply this to the prosperity, but also apply this to relationships and love. Do you know where your money and efforts go or is it all a big mystery at the end of the month? Obsidian Spirits, gentle message for you is to stop being afraid mm, of looking at your relationship with money or just looking at your relationship or looking at this thing that's in the coffin, right? Okay. Um, for you have a serious tendency to underestimate your ability to manage the flow of abundance in your life. To experience the prosperity that you deserve or to experience the love that you deserve, answer the call to hear to heal your old fear-based habits. This is right on target for you. Love it. Fearful frugality and gee, I hope they love me now. Generosity will not serve you on your healing journey. Any discomfort you have in looking at your relationship to finances is simply part of a necessary transition to accepting yourself as you are today, right now, in this moment, and you must accept yourself as you are for healing. Oh, you must accept yourself as you are for healing to take place. Self-awareness is always a good thing, and it will lead you to feeling comfortable and confident and growing your abundance. So that's very, very beautiful, that message. It feels... Like some of you guys may feel this nine of wands energy and the strength card reversed is something that you're fighting with that makes you feel when I do this, it's just, I'm deserving of love. And you might be looking for certain things to prove that to yourself when spirit is really asking you to just be who you are and shine as yourself. So, all right, my loves, this reading has definitely gone on a little longer, a lot longer than I was expecting. So I'm going to go ahead and move on to the extended. We are going to look into closure, allowing Kalima to be our faithful, loving, nurturing guide. I will see you guys there, or I will see you in pile number three, if that's what you choose to do, or maybe I will see you in the future. If you are a subscriber, if you're not a subscriber, I invite you to subscribe. And if not, I do not want to put pressure on you. Please give this video a thumbs up and hopefully our paths will cross in the near future. I will talk to you guys later. Bye. All right, my loves, if you chose the Euclase, probably not saying that correctly. I'll Google it later. Crystal, this is your pile. Holy crap for pile number two. Even the extended message really was just, just absolutely wild, like in the best way. I'm just very grateful. And I hope that you have just as good of a reading as I feel like the others were. Okay, single. Single messages, single energy. Let's go deep with it. I'm actually getting um a like fresh start or like fresh chapter and hermit card I feel like newness ace of swords the chariot card the chariot card has shown up every 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 pile I believe Queen of Wands and the Strength card. I'm hearing Hark the Angels Sing, Glory to the Newborn King. So this might have to do with Christianity, but it also might have to do with Christmas time. Wow, I just I'm really getting a strong sense of a new a new a fresh start here, believe it or not. Um I just it just feels like you're on good playing field or you're using your time. Like if you're single right now, like you might be using this time wisely. You might be studying, working on something active. Um I just feel like you're focused, working on something, ambitious, motivated. Some of you guys, if you're feeling like lethargic, quiet, sleepy, this is also very restorative. So it's not like you're being lazy. It's not like you're being 
Now, if you are being lazy and you know that about yourself, then don't, that clearly this message doesn't apply. But for the majority, there's something here about your progress, your momentum, and your movement forward in a life that's full enough, like very full. But just in this little shadow, we have the Eight of Cups here. And with this Eight of Cups, it signifies mourning, saying goodbye, sometimes just feeling like, ugh. Where is this Eight of Cups coming from? Five of Wands, Two of Pentacles. Yeah, this might be like just wanting a little, a lot, a little more time together is what I'm hearing. Um, if this is, I know that we're single in this pile because that's the start of this reading, right? This is the point of this reading. I just feel like this might be wanting more time. I don't know why it's giving like graduation. Well, actually that's the kind of image that I'm getting. Like if you are a high school student, like literally or metaphorically, it's like you're you're ending the, the season of your life where you're in high school and you're preparing for college and you just want some more time together. You, but you're hopeful. I just get this energy about being hopeful of the future and what you can do and what you can create. Um, some of you guys, this is literally like a graduation in your life. Is the world card here? No, it's so interesting. It's, it's kind of giving world card. Hmm. I feel like there's this, um, this might be the next season in your life. Whatever that looks like. This could even be like, career transition or career movement the devil card reverse and the two of wands reverse is very interesting ace of swords reversed wow i just honestly it's hard for me to find love in this pile not that to say that there isn't there because it, you have the emperor here and even the three of cups um it just feels like a card of like ambition and focus and the future um, maybe the wish for some type of companionship or love here or romance or something solid, but, and maybe mourning that a little bit, but like also not being torn up by it. If you're, if you can't relate to this, this is not your pile. Cause this is a very upright. Oh yeah. It's like, um, someone who has a very full life friends active and, Sometimes at night when they're going to bed, they might feel lonely or they might look forward to the future and just have a little tear. But for the most part, they, things just feel like, you know, you're doing pretty solid, like you're stable, like you're, you're good. I feel like you're doing a good job of separating yourself from distractions, temptation, toxic things. Because you're focused, you've got a lot on your plate, you are just motivated, you're having a good time, you're enjoying your life. So why do you need me? No, I'm just kidding. I'm just kidding. If this is someone that you used to be in a relationship with that might be on your mind or heart or if you're in separation from it's probably because this person wasn't doing as well as you um and but it's almost like you know that you needed to separate from this person um so you you're you wish you had more time together you wish it was different but you're not i don't feel like you might be losing yourself over it because your life seems full enough so what's the message for your single life i feel like the message is to keep going and to enjoy I feel like it's like what to expect in the future. I don't know why I just get this strong sense that if you're single right now, I just see you either spirit saying that you don't get too far ahead of yourself in the future, that you just stay present and you focus. Oh, hold on. 
yeah some of you guys might actually need to disclose to the universe or talk a little bit more with the universe about some traits that is that you would like in a partnership so that things can kind of open up a little bit more with that someone who adds value to your life and doesn't take away from it this person is equally ambitious or even athletic so they can keep up with you if they're not athletic they just have enough energy to keep up i wouldn't be able to <laughs> this is a special kind of person who you might even be a runner like good for you one of my best friends is a runner and he like gets like the whole running high and everything and even if he's went like a year without running he just starts running again and somehow it like comes back to him meanwhile i'm like running to go get my inhaler and by running i mean like fast walking and panting to go get my inhaler because yeah yeah girl don't run if i'm running you should be running and it's because that's something's chasing after us but i just want to say that whoever this person is i just feel like they need to have enough energy to keep up with you and that might be something that you need to not that you need to but you could ask for the universe to help you with why is the four of cups here this card really wants to jump out queen of swords yeah um this is about clarity, like really getting getting some more clarity and direction. You might have a lot of answers as far as your work, Eight of Pentacles, your work and what you want for yourself, but maybe not so many answers and clarity as far as who your person might be. It kind of feels a little open-ended. I don't know how to say that. Six of Cups. Hmm. Eight of Swords. This might be someone in the past. Yeah. Empress. You might have your eye on someone of the past. Ace of Swords. Ten of Cups. Yeah, I just see, I honestly, I just feel like if you're looking towards the past, it's because you're bored with the present and it's not even worth looking towards the past. I just feel like you should be, what I feel like the message that's coming through is to be have a little bit, start working on the details of what you see for your relationship, your partnership. And I see it's some, someone who is athletic or has high energy or likes to travel or isn't afraid of trying new foods. It's very specific. Someone that you can build with I feel like there's this lack of detail sharing that you've done with the universe so that the universe can start to kind of pour into that. If you feel like you don't know, um, I would take the abundance of your life already and just times it by two. <laughs> I hope that helps. Let me look at your Oracle cards because this feels pretty good. It feels pretty good. Like if I was going to tell you anything, I would be like, let's just get a little bit more specific on what you want first card wow see i'm not wrong okay first card is the mouse you're overlooking some important details so pay co closer attention to what's going on this is exactly what i'm saying that they want you to pay closer attention or define the smaller details so that the universe can give to you yeah polar bear Stand up for yourself and speak your truth respectfully and compassionately with no attachment to the outcome. This is, this honestly feels like co-creation, but, um, some of you guys might need to take this message a little bit more literally with stand up for yourself and speak your truth respectfully and compassionately. I feel like this is you saying the tinier details to the universe so that manifestation can happen, but flexible. This is a good thing. But sometimes it can be problematic. But it's a good thing because I feel like this is your energy. I feel like you're just kind of like, yeah, whatever the universe kind of throws at me, which is cool. Okay, because you're embodying that energy of like, yeah, no attachment to the outcome. I'm good. Like whatever happens, happens. But I just feel like there's some details here that could, Spirit is saying that it would be beneficial for you to ask for. Okay, next card we have protecting treasure. Hmm. I feel like there's parts of you that are locked up right now or going to be uncovered soon enough and inspire you awaken within you 
specific details of what you can ask for. Resolve conflicts is the next card. Harvest and sow and balance the emotions. Yeah, I just feel like there's a cardinal outside of my window. And the reason why I know that is because I know what they sound like. They're never active at night. So it's pretty interesting that they're going. Resolve conflicts. Harvest and sow. Balance the emotions. Hmm. That could be very specific message, messages for your situation. But also, this could be that balancing of, of life. Um, or finding the partner that balances, or has a, is the perfect balance to you. Or can keep, I honestly can keep up with you. Resolve conflicts is very specific, but I feel like this might be the energy that you um, I don't say are not bringing to the universe, but maybe you could bring a little bit more clarity to the universe as far as what is that you want, but I'll shuffle on that in a little bit. We have three of wands, the world card reverse, and the king of wands. Yeah. Right away, again, this is someone who's very passionate and, and who can and who can keep up. That's the energy that's coming up a lot. Oh, and then we have money here. Nice. Some of you guys might have a conflict of asking more financially from yourself or from your partner or from your future. And you might feel bad asking for that when you feel like love is enough. And it is, but I don't make the rules. Spirit's kind of saying, you know, it's good for you to kind of receive double. Um... Such an interesting pile here. Let's see. Let's get another deck here. What do we have? Let's use this one. Hmm. Some of you guys might actually be hot and cold or you might be um, small details really bother you while the world card reverse came out twice. I'm not making this up. Look world card reverse. There's some things that you need to resolve within yourself. Let's say, okay, let's say you actually have like an emotional or hormonal imbalance that makes you, um, makes you reactive. Um, this is something that it's kind of a good idea to start working on resolving that or bringing that, finding a solution for that energy so that future conflicts, whatever this tinier detail is, whether it's a trait within your partner or a trait that you have. Sometimes when we do these readings, we automatically think, oh, I'm perfect. I'm ready for love. And you are perfect. And I'm sure that you're ready for love, but there's always some room for improvement or growth. And I feel like with this flexible card here, maybe you could afford, which is funny with the money card, but maybe you could afford to be a little bit more flexible with I don't say your expectations, but how how you show up, you know, and maybe seeing what you offer, what you have to give or what you should be asking for, because three of wands is also bringing in what is the, what is it that you ask, whatever it is that you ask for, it's going to come right on the horizon. So some of you guys have been called to ask for more of something or double of what you already offer. And it's time for you to get that. Let me look into your crystal here card and then we will dive into hmm. maybe the conflict okay wisdom from within inner truth aligning with divine intelligence and trusting your own earned wisdom okay Understanding the people you love and care about isn't always easy, especially when you become aware that you still have much to learn about yourself. All of us have hidden gifts, protecting treasure. We have yet to acknowledge they are easier to discover when you look through the eyes of love guided by an inner wisdom that reminds you that we are all on a healing journey and at different places on the road. Listen to your intuitive intelligence about your relationships, for it is the conscious universe and not wishful thinking that will bring truth about other people and about yourself into your awareness. Yeah. Let me read to you the prosperity message. 
Lessons of the past can guide the future and proven track records ha have value when it comes to building wealth and maintaining prosperity. But no nest egg is rock solid. No investment is a sure thing and the flow of money can be unpredictable at times. This crystal is here to remind you to listen to your inner wisdom when considering where you invest your energy and attention. If it feels wrong for you, it probably is. If an opportunity for generating wealth makes you nervous, explore that feeling. The truth is that until you let go of the old beliefs about how you can't be trusted to co-create what you need and that prosperity is for others but not for you, you will feel uncomfortable when good opportunities and resources show up. Get in touch with your inner wisdom and you will cease to be distracted by fears that tempt you to say, no, I can't, when actually you can, you really can. Your, your wisdom can guide you on returning to the natural state of abundance you long to find yourself in. So this is, I think that's where the conflict is, is finding that tiny little like, no, or I'm asking for too much, or no, this is too, when in reality, it's like when you start asking for it, it's, it's going to come in. I feel like this might be not you being flexible with your own expectations, but you being flexible with how the universe is asking for you to kind of ask for more from yourself here. Hmm. Okay. I have a divine feminine oracle card here. I'm going to read it to you. Wow. Parvati, the goddess of devotion. I am a God. I'm a love that doesn't leave when I commit to love. My soul evolves. Yeah, some of you guys feel like, like something about expectations or focusing on expectations or you're just expecting more from your, you have to let me know. You'll definitely have to let me know how this resonates because I am very, very curious. I just know that I feel like there's someone here that is wanting to, or something here that's wanting to come in that's gonna match your energy. I think that's what we'll do in the extended is we're gonna look at this conflict and this person. There might actually be someone here that you already know that is evolving, growing, learning, going along their own journey and you might be separate from them right now. And I this might be the tarot's way of saying that this isn't going anywhere. Um, but you have to grow individually away from this person. And when the time comes, this person will actually come back in. I, 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 that's actually kind of what it is that I'm getting here. In the meantime, when you ask for what is that you need, it's helping that person to kind of match that energy. Not that that should be your intention, but it does help if that's your person. So thank you guys so much for being here with me. If you're meeting me in the extended, I will meet you down below. We are probably going to look into this person and this conflict and what's going on and what's going to happen. If you can't relate, this probably is not your extended reading or your extended message. And I just honestly send you all of my love and I hope that you're doing well. The Apothecary will reopen along with Sacred Circle Tarot School on November 11th of this year at 11, 11 a.m. Eastern Standard Time. Thank you guys so much for being patient with me. And I do wanna encourage you to subscribe to this YouTube channel hit the video um, thumbs up button because it helps videos that I am putting out there. And also thank you to the sponsor of today's video, Ritual, for honestly the best vitamins, but also definitely sponsoring this video because it makes videos like this very possible. So thank you guys. I will see you in the extended or I will see you in my next video. Bye.